Scrambled eggs. Everyone makes them from the time they're five years old. And they make a couple of mistakes that basically screw them and have their eggs as this lifeless, rubbery, watery thing on a plane. Now that sounds like you, then I am happy to show you the proper way to make scrambled eggs. And it is easy as pouring a beer in a pilsner. And hey fellas, if you happen to have that special lady friend of yours spend the night with you and it's the morning and you get up and you want to surprise her with a special breakfast make this and I guarantee you she'll reward you with an early morning BJ okay let's start off the perfect scrambled egg you don't need 20 damned ingredients to make great scrambled eggs you just need pepper salt and butter and I got about two tablespoons of butter in this pan and then of course eggs I'm gonna use three eggs because I think that's a good portion size if you're a bigger eater feel free to add a bit more and if you're a smaller eater feel free to add less I'm using cage free eggs today because I think they have the best flavor and don't throw the damned egg in there like I just did try to keep the shells out too but if you freaking mess up and screw up just put your hands in and grab the little bits of shell. You're not going to die by touching raw egg. And if you do happen to fuck up and have an eggshell in there, eggshells haven't killed anyone. So, you'll notice I haven't added any salt or pepper. You do not add salt and pepper while the egg is right here. Because if you do, the salt starts breaking the eggs down and you end up with this watery, lifeless, rubbery, disgusting egg. That is the biggest mistake that people make when cooking eggs. Do not add any fucking seasoning while, before you cook an egg or while you're cooking it. Then on a generous heat, you wanna take a spatula and start stirring the eggs and butter around. And while you're cooking scrambled eggs, never stop stirring it. That's another mistake people make that turn, makes your eggs turn into this rubbery, disgusting thing. Never ever stop stirring it. Keep it stirring constantly. Also, while you're stirring this, you wanna also not have the eggs constantly on the heat. You wanna remove them on the heat and off the heat. On the heat, off the heat. This helps the eggs cook properly. Okay, you can kind of see they're starting to come together now. You shouldn't have to put it back on the heat because the bottom of that pan will keep the heat. And we're ready to plate them all up. Now you add the salt and pepper. And that's it. That is how to make perfect, velvety, delicious scrambled eggs perfectly every single time. Easy. And that's it. That is all you need to do to create delicious, sublime scrambled eggs. And of course you can add things to this, you know, toast, sausage, uh, bacon, tomatoes, uh, portobello mushroom caps, you know, just whatever you wanna do. I just wanted to show you how to make absolutely perfect eggs every single flippin' fucking time.